So the San Francisco Examiner embedded my last earthquake watch log and it has 15,000 views or something like that. That's something unbelievable. And I'm wondering <laughs> what the thinking was on that. I'm not going to comment on the article. I'll put it in the a link for it in the comments. I wanted to note that I'm having a really, really difficult time right now because financially I'm basically broke. I'm past broke. And I don't want to declare bankruptcy. This is the first time I've been out of the house other than the grocery store in a very long time. Just had to get out. And I'm wondering what to do at this point. The people who should be showing an interest in this discovery are completely ignoring it. And I have no indication that they're going to do anything other than that. And I've been thinking about how to get funding for it. And there are a lot of different possibilities there. And I think I need to get the public invested in it. But at the same time, that process of fundraising takes time. And right now, especially in the past couple of weeks, I felt the need to perfect this method in order to try to save lives. And I'm hoping that my theory, my core weather theory, is wrong and that the earthquakes aren't going to become more frequent and more intense as the solar cycle starts. But right now it seems like the most important thing for me to do is work on this research. And I'm going to set up a PayPal account. Maybe I'll put it in the comments too. And solicit donations at some point. And I was thinking that the people who would re be really interested in this would be the insurance companies. Because they would potentially be saved an incredible amount of payout from the policyholders who would whose lives would be saved from this technology potentially and so they would have a financial interest in supporting it the problem with doing that is that basically when you uh, whore yourself out like that uh, you lose your freedom of speech and <laughs> there's a certain irony there and that brings up another issue going with public funding uh, for me personally is that there is a very very uh, sort of um, nefarious group that has been uh, manipulating things behind the scenes I mean, some, sometimes not even behind the scenes um, with my life for a very long time and you know they want to try to maintain control they want to try to keep control and I've had to fight them just to be able to do what I'm doing right now and I understand that a lot of these people just simply didn't understand and are just now coming to understand the importance of what I've discovered and that that you know may take years before it actually hits home with some of these with some of these interests but for now I, I'm just I feel sort of um, at a loss uh, for what to do uh, what what path to take I think that I've I think that I've chosen the right path so far. I think that I've won this battle. I think that in the in the war of the worldviews and the war that I'm I'm sort of waging right now, I've won this battle. And it seems like it's only a matter of time now before other people pick this up and say, "Oh, well we have to understand how this works." And then say, "Oh my gosh, this guy has discovered hypertime. This guy has come to understand the relationship the the physical relationship between matter, energy, time, 
and space. And so I think that's only a matter of time at this point. Um, but that seemed to be the lesser important thing, you know. Uh, I could spend all of my time, I think I used the dog analogy uh, with, with Simon O'Dell, you know, I could spend all my time trying to explain astrotometry to people, but if I can show them that I can predict earthquakes with it and prevent, <laughs> prevent them from getting killed by them, um, and then use that <laughs> as a sort of bone <laughs> to keep the dog from running on the road, um, then, you know, that, that's a strategy. That's a workable strategy, and I, I realized that maybe um, that wasn't apparent from the actions and a lot of times the things that I do I think a lot of people uh, don't understand that there's a method to the madness and so um, yeah there's some surprises there waiting for you all and so I'm warning you again don't fuck with me